Hello lovelies. Every single day I get an email asking me a question about environmental science, which is great because there are so few of you doing this course. We were kind of like, oh, should we do it? Is it worth it? I say, it is worth it. You're loving it. You're really, really enthusiastic. But we get a lot of questions about environmental science. So here is our environment science FAQs to go through all of the questions. Main question, are we going to be doing predictive papers? Yes, we are. We've got two papers that we've written. The second one is in the process of being reviewed. And they're written by an examiner. We have them reviewed by three other teachers and examiners and then we've done the video walkthroughs for these as well. They're going to be out for the general public in on the 2nd of April but if you're a member of the masterclass of the boot camp then you'll get the PDF, the predictive paper and the video walkthrough of the predictive paper early before everyone else. These are going to go through how to structure your answer so the, the essay, how to make sure it's a level 5 essay, how to lay out any maths questions, the command words, what sort of things the examiners will be looking for because we have had examiners working on this. Another the question we get is what do I know as a chemistry teacher about environmental science and honestly it is not a lot but I am just the person who sits at the beginning of the video and goes hi lovelies this is what we're doing today and then I edit the videos and then I mess around on the website. We have teachers like a really really highly experienced qualified environmental science teacher writing all of the videos and doing those and she is uploading the issues so she also teaches the lives and writes the multiple choice questions and loads and loads of other things and she's also available for tutoring so it's not me to teaching you environmental science. When not will it be finished? That is a really, really good question that I cannot tell you the answer to. But I can tell you that our teacher is working pretty much full time, writing the content for this, get it like, double checked, get it reviewed, we have to make the videos, I have to make the videos and put it all on the website. So there is actually a lot of stuff that goes into this. I'll be 100% honest with you. Chances are we are not gonna get it finished in time for the 2024 exam period, but it will be finished in time very, very shortly after that so if you're in year 12 at the moment we should have finished by, by the time um, you get back to school in year 13 hopefully but I will be honest with you even with three of us working like crazy on this we are not going to get it all 100% finished in time for the 2024 exams. Can you copy our essays? No, you cannot. We have written loads and loads and loads of example 25 mark level five um, essays, which are all in the, the master classes and in the boot camps. And um, what we do with these is we not only teach you science, but we tell you how to structure your paragraphs. So you've got your balance of A1, A2, and A3 to really, really show up to the examiners that you do have a holistic understanding of environmental science. You cannot copy this. There are so few of you doing this course that even if it was only like one person copied one paragraph from each school, if another person in another school copies the same paragraph, there's a very, very high chance that the same examiner will mark that paper and will recognise it. So under no circumstances are you to plagiarise any work that you ever ever see on the internet and write it down in your exam and um, try and pass it off as your own because there is a high chance you will get found out and you'll be disqualified from that exam and the, the, the silly careless mistake of copying someone else's work will get you disqualified from all of your two years studying environmental science and potentially all of your A-levels so please do not do this. How much maths is included in environmental science? Now it says in the back of the specification how much maths is included and it needs to be at least a higher level GCSE. So we are expecting you to be able to like do significant figures and rounding and standard form because they're all there in the back of the specification and chances are your environmental science teacher has never actually sat down and taught you rounding or significant figures or standard form because it's something you should know from GCSE. CSE, but because it's on the specification, they can ask you questions about it. So that is my environmental science FAQs. Um, those are the questions that we get a lot. If you have any other questions about environmental science that haven't come here, let me know in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer them all for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.